You're watching Fox 5 News at 10. Good evening, I'm Dick Brennan. And I'm Karen Happ. Call it another first for one of the first ladies of the civil rights movement. The murder of a father of three gunned down on Mother's Day is in danger of going unsolved. Fox 5's Dick Brennan visited that area. Well, this is where the evil eye of Hurricane Katrina came ashore, a town called Waveland. And this place is aptly named because this entire community has been washed away. We were the second house from the track. Wherever that is. Wherever that, yeah, that's over there. Denise Breland's Waveland is now a wasteland. How do you comprehend all this? Thank you. I, <laughs> it's, it's unexplainable, I guess. I just, I don't know. The storm's eye made a direct hit on the Gulf Coast community. It's impossible to comprehend with words, and even the human eye doesn't do it justice, because I can tell you, you can go block after block, mile after mile, and there is nothing here. Everything is gone. We start our team coverage on the election 2004 with Fox 5's Dick Brennan in Washington, D.C. Dick. Well, Rosanna, that call came at about 11 a.m. this morning. John Kerry picked up the phone, called George W. Bush, and congratulated him. Dick Brennan is live in, uh, in Israel. Uh, Dick, are you there? There is a kind of jubilation. There's an excitement. It, it's not quite a morning. It's almost like these people want to make Yasser Arafat into a martyr. Let's go right to Fox 5's Dick Brennan. He's on the video phone right now in Kuwait City. Dick? What it means, it's time to put this on. Let's give a good listen, because this is what we've been getting all morning long, the wailing of air raid sirens. And uh, let's see, it's going on. Help. This is what we gotta do. I don't know how clear you can hear me. Come to us, we got breaking news. Suddenly then, a huge explosion. Now, if we could just pan over, you'll see a burst of smoke in what appears to be the southern portion of Kuwait City. Those homes behind me are about what the homes are like all throughout the southern portion of Iraq. It gives you the sense of almost extreme poverty. Baghdad is liberated. Iraqis are celebrating at long last Saddam with a noose around his neck, the flag right in his face, and then his regime comes tumbling down. An extraordinary woman who launched a social revolution has died. Betty Friedan. Now tonight we tag along with dancers from the world-class Margaret Pike School and watch them try to teach their tricks to a very old dog who will never learn, me. Take a look. I'm thinking I could probably do this pretty quickly. What do you think? Uh, if you pass six years, I think you could. You show me some moves and then we can show these girls how it's done. Okay. Go ahead. All right. You think I'm ready now? Uh, I think you should think this one through a little more. A little more thinking, yeah, no little. dancing. Well, Grace, I'm thinking maybe next time, with a little more work, I can do this. I'm thinking we should just stick to reporting. We're all talking here about where we want to go for Halloween. Well, a well-known Los Angeles mansion is getting a scary facelift. That's right, the legendary Playboy Mansion is getting ready for a party. And get this one, should being impolite be illegal? Find out who wants to make being nice a law. Stay tuned. We love our dogs, but is there something that he or she does that drives you nuts? Mm -hmm. Similar to Nanny 911, this is Pet 911, where an animal expert solves your pet problems. And Craig, Fox 5 News. That's pretty neat. I never had heard of that. Tracy says she has it and it works, but I mean, you got to have a lot of treats and, uh, <laughs> and you really want to, you know. Yes, it's good. Okay, then you have a nicer well, dog that's not like trying to bite all the bigger dogs, and then you have to bite all the that. bigger dogs. They do that. The littler they are, the they more do? they just take on the. Yeah, the how's big your ones. dog doing? And that's all for Fox 5 News at 6 o'clock. I'm Karen Hemp. And I'm Dick Reynolds. We'll back here at 10. Happy birthday, Karen. Oh, happy birthday, Karen. <laughs> <laughs> Want to know how old she is? <laughs> <laughs> do you have any time? Ah, oh, we ran out of time. Lucky so you.